Hey y'all, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Sierra and I post videos on this channel every single Friday. I post Christian booktube content, so if you're into that kind of thing, I highly recommend pressing subscribe. Today I am reviewing a series by my favorite author ever, one of my favorite authors ever, and that is the Out of Egypt series by Conalyn Cosette. If you've watched a couple of my other videos, you would know that she is my favorite biblical fiction author ever. I have a video reviewing her Cities of Refuge series, which was the first full series that I read from her. Before I go any farther, I do want to say if you're planning to read the Cities of Refuge series, read the Out of Egypt series first. At least read the last book of the Out of Egypt series before you dive into the Cities of Refuge because you are introduced to the main character of the first book within the final book of Out of Egypt. She's Mariah, the main character in Cities of Refuge, is not the main character in the last book, but we get introduced to her and it's kind of like the precursor. I hope that makes sense. It, it, if you've read this series and then the next one you'll know what I'm talking about, but take my word for it, you're going to want to read Wings of the Wind before you read Cities of Refuge. Take it from someone who didn't do that and wishes she had. The first book in the Out of Egypt series is Counted with the Stars, and Counted with the Stars follows Kaya through her journey of being sold into slavery by her father to pay off a family debt, and then she ends up befriending a Hebrew slave and follows that Hebrew slave's family into the desert when God calls them out of Egypt and she witnesses the plague, she witnesses the parting of the Red Sea, she witnesses the manna coming from heaven. I, th I think she witnesses that. Like so many miracles and amazing things. This book really gave me a lot of like historical I guess kind of context and awareness of what the organization of the Israelite camps really looked like and how enormous they were like fleeing Egypt. It was not just this little scrawny group with a couple hundred Hebrews. It was massive and they didn't, you know, all hear Moses speak or Aaron speak, you know, they, the news would like get distributed throughout the camp. That's how it was portrayed in this book. And I thought it was wonderfully done and really just showed how many Hebrews there truly were. I absolutely loved Kaya's coming to faith in this book. It was very eye-opening and also kind of heartwarming to read how an Egyptian came to have faith in God despite her Egyptian heritage and I just so loved the story. This was my first Colin Cosette book ever. It did hook me like right from the get-go. This was the first book she ever published and I fell in love with the story instantly. Like I just loved it so so much. <laughs> the second book in this series is Shadow of the Storm and this book follows Shira, the Hebrew slave that Kaya befriended in the first book and we get her story and it picks up basically right after the end of the second book and it follows the Israelites kind of their year before the spies are sent into Canaan and just kind of exploring like what really happened in that year. Of course there's no like biblical records, there's not many biblical records of it but you know um, Connell and Cosette explored it in her own way. Shira's story of kind of growing into her faith and confidence really spoke to me and I just appreciated it so much how this really strong young woman, like you see her strength in the first book when she's just, you know, a side character. It just really gets explored and developed so well in this book and she, she just grows in herself and in her understanding of God and knowing his plan for her and depending on that plan is absolutely wonderful and 
I just, I so, so thoroughly enjoyed it. And also her coming to learn what God wanted her to do with her life. It was quite a struggle throughout the book and the resolution just warmed me so much. I loved it to pieces. The third and final book in the series is Wings of the Wind and this book follows two characters. It follows Alana who is actually a uh, Canaanite, yeah I had to find the right word, and Tobiah who is an Israelite, a Hebrew, and their story of going into war and they meet in the war and the story unfolds from there and it's quite different than the first two books. This one takes place 40 after the 40 years in the wilderness and in the months leading up to the crossing over the Jordan River and then taking Jericho and inheriting the land the way God intended them to. So the time jump was definitely a surprise for me. I went into this book knowing nothing about it. I just bought it because I knew it was part of the series and I knew I was going to enjoy it. I literally did not even read the description of it online. I just bought it. So I entered it knowing absolutely nothing except that it was part of the series. Shira and Kaya do make appearances in this book as like older women and we get to kind of find out what happened to them and their families which is super sweet. I do think that this book could be a standalone so like you could just read this one but it means so much more if you read the first two in the series. Alana's story is just absolutely breathtaking. I don't want to say I have a favorite Connell and Cosette book because they are all so wonderful. But if I had to pick, this would be my favorite book that she has written so far that I have read. It is stunning and there are times you just want to throttle the characters and there are other times you just want to give them a hug and the, the dialogue, the descriptions, the development, all of it was absolutely phenomenal, a masterpiece. So this is some light spoilers, but nothing that you don't find within the first five chapters. So basically, Alana goes into a battle to avenge the deaths of her brothers and father. She ends up getting wounded and Tobiah, a Hebrew soldier, ends up taking her back to his tent and offering her protection by marrying her. And so like they're obviously love interests and I'm, I'm not going to spoil anything beyond that, but just the development of their relationship and their faith and everything was just so on point and so what I needed to read the past few days. I finished this book in two days. I, I did finish it yesterday and I was so happy. I was like, okay, I need to go make a video about it because this is literally one of my new favorite books. Like I have a couple of books that I want to give like six stars. This is one of them. <laughs> so those are my thoughts individually on all three books. As a series overall, I would just say that I, I really love that the first and third ones come from outsiders' perspectives, so Kaya, an Egyptian, and then Alana, a Canaanite. I love when that is done with biblical fiction because you just get to learn the culture and learn about God with the characters. I just, I always love how it's written and how it's done, especially when Connell and Cosette does it. Absolutely like mind-blowing and breathtaking and I just I love it. All three books do have romance in them like they're all of the characters have love interests and that does work out. It definitely does play into the story. It is not like heavy romance which is something that I appreciate. I want to read the story to be informed and like you know grow <laughs> and think <laughs> So I did very much like that, but the outcomes of all of the romance stories were very satisfying and very key and essential to the stories. So those are my thoughts on all of the books in the Out of Egypt series. I am so looking forward to Connell and Cosette's next release. I don't know if it'll be released by the time I do, by the time this video comes out, 
maybe, I'm not sure, but I will 100% be doing a review of that book. It is the second in a series, so another series review. But thank you so much for watching. If you have read these books, let me know in the comments and leave a like if you did like this. Subscribe if you want more content like this. And I will see y'all in my next video, whatever that is. Until then, bye.